Okay, guys, we're getting two videos today because um, my internet at home is messed up, so I have to go to the library and upload these. And I'm going to do it today, maybe three videos, if I can get the third video to upload. Um, again, it's Lily. How are you? How you doing? What's up? Okay, this is for my national coming out day slash it gets better video. Um, national coming out day was Monday, October 11th, and today I know it's Thursday. I'm sorry, I'm slow, but better late than never, especially talking about somebody's period. So anyway, real fast. First of all, I want you all to know, um, for National Coming Out Day, one in 10 people in America is gay, first and foremost. So that means one in 10 people are being abused, mistreated, talked about, bullied, whatever you want to say. So this is what I'm going to say. Hello world, my name is Lily. I will not give you my government. If you know me, you know my government. If I get to know you closer, maybe you'll get my, my government, you know, on the slide. Or maybe you caught it in a video if my fiance said it. I don't know. But I am more than just my sexuality and I deserve to be respected just like anybody else. Um, I am an openly bi female. Anybody who knows me know that I'm bi. My fiance, my mom, people at my church, anybody. They, they, they know me, they know. Because I, I believe in full disclosure. I don't hide anything. Um, That's one. Two. I'm a mother. I have two children. My son happens to be gay, and I love him too dearly. I come out for him. Three, I'm somebody's daughter. I have a mother and I have a father. No problem. I'm a sister. I have um, a brother, two brothers, and I have an older stepsister and I have a younger half-sister. Believe it or not, she's four. I have a fiancé, so I will be married next year. I love him to death. He knows about me. He, I, hold, I hate nothing from him. I hide nothing from him. We work. It just works for us. You know, we come to conclusions and we move on and we just go that. I'm not going to go into details. You don't need to know how my relationship works. Just know that we work with each other because that's how we are. Um, I'm a black. I'm black. I'm a female, like I said. These are many things of me. I believe that I'm a Christian. I go to church faithfully every Sunday. Anybody who knows me knows I've always been a good person. I treat people the way I want to be treated. I respect everybody. I may not like your ways. I may not like you per se as a person for whatever reason. But I will always, always show you respect. So with that said, you don't need to condemn me. That's not your place. That's God's place. You don't have to condone what I do because my life is not your life and what goes in your life may not go for me and my life may not go for you. So I don't need you to condemn, condone me either. But I will need you to respect me. That's all I'm saying. And if you ask me, any gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, queer, all we really want is your respect. We want our equal rights and we want respect. That's all. Um, if we can get those two things, things do get better. That's going to lead me to the, it gets better. And the reason life gets better when you're lesbian, gay, LBGTQ, or whatever label you want to use for yourself is because we will come out, we will lose people, we will gain people. That's part of life anyway. Even if you're straight, you lose people, you gain people as you go through life and you change and you grow. It gets better because we surround ourselves with people who love us and who supports us. People who we can use as sounding boards. That's why it gets better. You people who bully these children, these young adults who have not got that backbone strength yet are so wrong. Um... A gay child is four times as likely to commit suicide. That is too high. We need to support our children. Let them know we are here to listen to them. We don't have to understand everything, but listen and try to give them an answer. Because the children that we're losing today are the same ones we may need tomorrow to take care of us. 
We may be losing. We may be losing the person who has to cure the AIDS. We may be losing the person who has to cure the cancer. We may be losing the person who has to cure to economic problems. If we lose those kids today, what are we sacrificing in our tomorrow? So with that said, because this is a, I don't want to be up long, long, because my last video was a little long. Um, happy National Coming Out Day. That was Monday. If you came out Monday, congratulations. If you came out before Monday, congratulations. If you can't for whatever reason, that's okay. Come out when you are ready, when things are stable for you. Don't let nobody punk you into coming out sooner. You come out when you're ready. That's my bottom line. Um, remember, it gets better. If you need help, call out for it. I'm going to put the national hotline for um, suicide prevention probably down in my box or on my screen. I might put it on my screen and in my box because I think it's a very important number. If you see a child who may need help, give them that number. Talk to them. Let them know that suicide is not the answer. You bullies, y'all want respect? Fine, we'll give it to you, but you got to give it to us too. And I say homophobia, if you are homophobic and you are scared, why not take time to learn? Because usually the things you're scared of or you're phobic about are things you don't understand and you don't know. So with that said, bye-bye. I love you and I'll see you next time.